Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are y'all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Um, today, we're gonna go back to this character optimization stuff again, right? Just optimizing, not optimizing, just uh, putting some finishing touches on how we level up and, and all that stuff. And, and kind of how much um, stats we get every time we level up. And I, and I found a few errors that we could fix here and there, so we'll, we'll get into that. But before we get going, please check out the description box down below. You got a nice a bunch of nice useful links down there uh, you can check out. Also, drop a like and subscribe if you can. You can check out my Discord as well. Join that if you want. Um, but otherwise, let's just keep going. I found out why. I found out actually why. Um, let's see. Why the damage was weird. So, if we look at this, the way random works is... This is like a multiplication, okay? So say that damage max is 30. We're gonna do a random between 0 and 30, okay? And then we're gonna get a value, anything, uh, maybe 10. And then we're gonna add 10 to whatever, or add damage min, which might be 12, to whatever we got. So that will be 24. That's not what we want, because if we get a value of 30, that's damage max. We don't want to be able to do more damage than damage max. But then it's going to add this damage min to it. So this is a wrong calculation. What you want to do is you want to put a uh, put parentheses here and say minus this damage min. So this damage max minus this damage min. And that will give you what you want. Okay, That's going to give you the value that you want. So you want to do the same thing here for enemy. You want to make sure you take the enemy's maximum damage minus um, the enemy's minimum damage here. Do that. And then you want to keep this plus here because we're going to get a random value between uh, of, of this value, right? Between 0 and whatever this value is. And then we're going to add damage minimum to it. So if you go and read some C++ uh, stuff about... Not C++ stuff, maybe C++ CPP reference or something where they explain random. Uh, you'll kind of see that that works. All right, you just got to think a little bit more about it. Imagine it just being like I said, like this is a multiplication, so it happens first, and then the addition is at the end. So whatever we get, we'll add something to it. So that's not really how we wanted it, but that, now this should be working fine. So this is this is good. Another thing is the character was a little too OP. Okay, it was a little too little too OP so what I want to do is I don't want to increase strength and stuff every level I want to do it every other level so how could you do that in a, in a nice way without having if statements and stuff well we can use the modulus uh, operator so a level will either be a um, an even number or an odd number right so whenever there's an even number which will be every other level right every other level we will um, add it add that one to it right so we'll we'll increase every other level instead of one each level uh, so the way you do that is you do this level modulus 2 so anytime you take an integer and you do modulus operations on it it will either return a 0 or or the rest if it's a 0 then that means it's an even number if it's an odd number it will return a 1 okay at least when dividing with 2 all right so in this way, I will add either a 0 or a 1 to it, depending on what the level is at that point. right? So I'm just going to add this to all of these. And that will give me a little more, a little less of an OP kind of build <laughs> going. right? So that's, that's a little better. And then we update stats and everything. So, so we're pretty much fine here. Uh, another thing I wanted to fix was that it's a little hard to see sometimes. Uh, all of this stuff. So I want to make sure that I get one more new line going in here Just like that just to make sure that uh, we can see all the stats properly Okay, then I'm gonna run this and we'll see what the hell's going on. Let me just see if I'm recording. Yep. All right uh, put that down one start game Character menu so see we have seven stat points, but the character isn't as strong if you remember last time yeah, like 55 uh, HP or something. So it's a little less strong. Uh, going into assigned stat points, we'll see that it's a little more clear now what the hell's going on, right? A little more clear. Um, and then we can see our stuff increasing here as well. 
Now I could remove these things as well, but it's okay for now. It's it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add maybe one strength, one to each thing here, and maybe one extra to strength and one extra to vitality. So we'll see that updating in real time here, right? So I'm going back. I'm going back again. Let's try inventory. Do we have? Yeah, we had inventory working, so that's cool. Uh, going to stats. Let's see. So now my damage. Is a little higher my defense is higher hit rating is higher everything is pretty much higher and everything is controlled by these five attributes so it's basically like a regular um, regular not nice uh, RPG right uh, let's go back go into travel menu find let's go down a little bit um, keep going down down is easier than up we'll see okay so enemy encountered uh, begin combat so now we're pretty much the same as the enemy, almost exactly the same actually, uh, which is kind of strange. That shouldn't be the case, but you'll see we're not doing more damage than this interval. As you'll see, no one is going to do that much damage. And there we go, I died, doesn't really matter, we're fine. Okay, cool. So, but still, we, we didn't do that much damage. Um, you know uh, so it was it was basically within that interval so that's cool that's really good now all the rest of the balancing is up to you guys you can do whatever you want I'll, I'll probably change a little bit of this later on I might give the character some more stat points to start off with maybe um, we won't do the add XP but we'll, we'll give him we'll give him four stat points to allocate or maybe maybe five at the start okay so that's that's gonna be cool we'll be a little stronger and maybe the 46 should be the start okay whatever so we're cool we're good uh, let's go ahead now and uh, and look at what we need to do so so that's pretty much that was pretty much it I think uh, there was only one more thing yeah I wanted to increase the amount of uh, in combat state the amount of EXP you get when you kill an enemy alright so you get the level of the enemy if it's one you'll get about 10 something ish if it's five you'll get about 50 and as you saw the XP required is about 700 at, at 50 so it's a little too little if it's five if I multiply by 20 or 25 um, this is pretty okay right it's pretty good and then I want to add the enemy's level here as an XP as well, uh, which is which is cool. Multiply by ten, maybe something like that. Um, I don't know. So a little more XP than usual, maybe a little, a little better. I don't know how this is gonna scale, but we'll see. Maybe it's gonna be completely insane. Uh, but that's cool. At least we'll get some extra EXP from this. Um, now before we get going let's see uh, we have some time let's create the weapon class all right let's just go ahead and do that let's do a new item or a new class and we'll just call it weapon and we'll say base class item virtual destructor and we're good okay boom so this is my weapon class right here and it's uh, an item like this let's just do that and then we'll do the item constructor here an item doesn't have a default constructor it has a constructor that requires a few things so I'm just gonna copy these values and I'm gonna go into weapon and I want to put them in right in here in the constructor alright and I'm gonna go ahead and put those back into back into item type rarity uh, value okay so I'm sending these values back to item this is the item part of the weapon okay this is the base the, the foundation so I'm sending this data in there now I'll add more things in here which will actually be specific to just weapon and the same thing for armor and stuff like that so we're gonna have a bunch of stuff here which is going to be specific for weapon and I'm gonna have that up top here right here so for example integer damage min int damage max for example those are specific to weapon alright so I'm just gonna copy paste those put them into weapon here uh, put them into weapon just like that boom 
and then we have our destructor right there okay cool and then I'll say actually I'll make a private of course I'll make a little private section here and I'll say int damage max int damage min weapon this damage max equals damage max this damage min equals damage min so there we go now we have a bunch of nice stuff going uh, this is specific for weapon so any item won't have damage only weapon no weapons will have damage but they're still items they're still they still have a part of themselves that is an item okay and eventually I'll, I'll make it so that you can't create items on their own um, because we don't want to be able to create items we'll create subclasses uh, which we'll later use functions okay cool so there we go now we have at least the the uh, uh, class created and we'll be able to use this and drop items and stuff we need a way to randomize these and we'll do that um, eventually but it, first of all it's important to have this whole thing working and set up just as it should be uh, so I'm gonna play around with this and inventory and everything and make sure it works uh, yeah but for now that's cool uh, we're good to go actually this was a, a just a cleaning up video just finishing touches on character and also creating the weapon class uh, so I hope that was okay hope that was fun following on following with me uh, following me on that little uh, on this little video um, I hope you learned something hope it was fun if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section also check out the uh, description box bunch of useful links like I said as always uh, drop a like subscribe if you like the stuff also check out discord follow me on Twitter if you can all right, thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart for, for all the support. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.